Hi, this is Monty from Moat Park Vehicles and welcome to another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that's just recently been part exchanged to us. This is our lovely 2016 Fiat 500S uh, covered a mere, uh, what, 25,000 miles. That's all it's done. So it's the 500S, so uh, it's not like the lounge, so it hasn't got a pan roof, you've got re rear parking sensors, you've got the upgraded uh, alloy wheels, the 16 inch alloy wheels, which I think really transform uh, this particular car. Now what we have done, you may notice uh, the number plates uh, we've had, uh, we've had a new set of number plates made up, they've got like a, a slightly tinted film, you can take that off if you want to, uh, so it looks okay actually straight on, but from angles it does make it look a bit tinted and I think it just uh, sets the car off. So the reasons we do this video, and I'm going to sort of walk around the car briefly now and give you a more detailed view very shortly, why do we do it? It's all about trust, honesty, integrity. We try and tell you how it is. Um, look, I'm only human. If I've genuinely made a mistake, I do apologize, but the videos are about eight minutes long and I try and go into as much detail as I possibly can on the car, okay? Now, she is gonna come with a new MOT. It's gonna be due an MOT very shortly, so we will be an MOT in the car. Now, the reason I'm holding the, uh, the camera there by the uh, number plate is just if you wanna do any kind of HPI checks, mileage history checks, that type of thing on the car, uh, go ahead. Uh, she's got four services already stamped in the book. We're gonna get uh, another service done on it as well. It's just gonna be a lubrication service. The last service that was carried out by the previous owner uh, was a full service, so we only just need to do a lubrication service. Okay, so don't forget this particular car has got the upgraded 16 inch alloy wheels in that lovely satin black with the diamond cut edges. And I really, really do think it transforms the car instead of the standard uh, gray 15 inch alloy wheels that you get on it. Okay, so we're going to start off on the driver's side front and I'm going to try and be as thorough as I possibly can. But bear in mind, guys, she is five years of age or coming up to five years of age, I think four and a half years of age. You're going to have a few little stone chips here and there, which we have touched up. We've done the very best we possibly can on it as well. So, of course, I think if you know, uh, they facelifted this particular car in 2015, I think it was. So you've got slightly different lights. And, and of course the S will be slightly different. It's got slightly more sportier bumpers, fog lamps, etc. So everything's fine there. There's a couple of little stone chips that are right at the bottom there that I've touched up, but nothing major. There was one or two little ones around the edge of the bonnet. Again, nothing major. Now I'm not too sure how it's gonna be coming through on this camera, because I'm in a bit of a, a shady area. The sun is out. If I get really close up, I think it makes it look a bit more kind of bluey. So I'm going to try and keep as far away as possible so you don't get that kind of blueiness in. I'm not too sure it's coming through on my camera, but I'm not too sure it's coming through you guys. So you've got privacy glass in the back, so a light smoke privacy glass, not a black limo. Just show you down the side of the car. Hopefully you can pick up that is all dent free, really nice bright paintwork. Rear parking sensor on the car. Let's just show you inside. I really like this kind of uh, sort of satin grey accents on the door handles. It's the same on the mirrors as well. You've got the uh, aero deflectors on here. Now it's more really for rainwater, but I think they tend to be a bit more noisy when you're driving, so we can take them off anybody doesn't want them so this really nice two-tone leather and cloth seat that really nice white accent also carried over on the door panels now they are kind of a more of a pearly color again not too sure how it's going to come through on the camera it might look a bit sort of I don't know pinky but it's more it is like a pearl pearlescenty look to it five-speed manual transmission You've got your seven inch uh, TFT screen there. So all touch screen. This particular car does not have navigation. It's an option to have navigation, but you've got Bluetooth streaming, DAB, etc. Everything you're gonna really need. And who uses navigation now on the cars? You're all on Waze and Google. So multi-function steering wheel, all your controls there for the radio, going for radio stations, volume controls, mute, 
You've got your auxiliary button USB down there, a couple of cup holders. Hopefully that all looks good to you. Let's just show you in the back. Again, seats are all good. Four seater car, only two seat belts in the back. Air conditioning is nice and super cold. And you've got that far left hand button there. That is your city button. So that's where it lightens all the steering, all the steering up, especially for parking. Mentioned rear parking sensor, there's a couple of little chips along here. I think there was one there which I've touched up. There's another little one up there, but nothing major. Again, you've got that kind of gray accent, that satin gray to the tailgate. 50-50 split seat. Again, this is probably not gonna to focus too well because it's getting quite dark in there. You have got, I don't know if I'm trying to show you, you have got tool kit, spare wheel in the back. Quite important nowadays. I think uh, some people tend to get a bit sort of like uh, flat tire anxiety because they don't want these kind of pump up kits. But you have got the spare wheel. Just show you down the side of the car again. Really hard with white to try and pick anything up, but I can assure you, she is all dent free. couple of little marks on the alloy wheels one I noticed here on the back one but it just doesn't warrant having that all repainted and I think there's a tiny little one on the front but again nothing major so you're inside hopefully that all looks good and these seats are really really kind of figure hugging kind of sumptuous but then again Sumptuous is more sort of like for luxury, I think, to be fair. I think I probably said the same wrong thing. But yeah, they are quite figure-hugging, being it's the S model. Show you again around the back. Hopefully you can pick that all up. Looks all good. You've got one central cup holder in the back as well. And hopefully that all looks good to you. I think there was another touch-up I'd done somewhere else, but I can't remember where it was now. Uh, you know, it, uh, it was only small. I think it was around here somewhere. Just a tiny little touch-up, but again, nothing major. I'll probably go overboard with giving you an idea what the car is like. and Maybe I can be a bit overzealous, but believe me, this is a lovely, lovely car. You will not be disappointed. What you've seen in the video is exactly what you'll be seeing when you come and have a look at a car. And again, the reasons why we do these videos We've all done it before. We've looked at cars online. Look absolutely stunning. Go to look at them. Nothing like as described. Um, and you've probably travelled. Well, it doesn't make it make any difference whether you've travelled two miles, two hundred miles. Um, you know, it sometimes disappoints customers, especially nowadays with the way things are going with COVID and what have you. I know we've come out of lockdown, but uh, customers are still now choosing to do the click and collect uh, or click and delivery. More often, we're doing more click and deliveries now, even though we are out of lockdown. So, just to finish off, just to let you know, these cars do come with a six months warranty. Uh, you can upgrade that six months warranty for another six months, giving you 12 months, and that works out £149. Uh, the claim limit then goes from £1,000 up to a £2,000 claim limit but hopefully you never ever get to use the warranty we do not charge you any administration fees no documentation fees etc so the price that you see is the price that you pay so thank you again for your time uh, I think uh, I do babble on a bit too much and I think some customers have commented on that I think if you are interested in this car genuinely interested um, you don't mind the time it takes me to get these videos done so many thanks again if you are interested please send me an email text message or you could do the old old-fashioned way pick up the phone give me a call speak to you soon take care bye bye